Nick, thanks. Well, new tonight at 6, a series of art thefts in downtown Colorado Springs, and then the series of responses it triggered. It's been happening with one of the most popular public art collections called Civic Treasures. Bill Folsom is here with a closer look in studio. Uh, a determined effort for creativity to prevail over crime here, Bill. Yeah, an artist's idea to get a big response from small things seems to have succeeded in a way never intended. A collection with one of the series stolen and later another. Public art created at a scale outside the box of outside art. Follow the footprints to discover what's different about the series Civic Treasures. That's the artist's whole point. When Scotty Burgess put this piece uh, in in the first place, he said public art doesn't have to be big in order to make a big impact. The art did elicit public response a little over a year ago when someone followed the prints and found kissing camels missing from its brick sized display in a downtown building. The public rallying to raise money for the artist to replace the piece. He did it for the cost of materials, and the crowdfunding raised enough money to take the series from three pieces to four. And that's Pike's Peak, which you see right here. The clever take on Pike's Peak added to the series, then subtracted a few months back when someone pried it up and stole it. Vandals, or maybe someone mistakenly thinking the aluminum figure could bring cash at a recycle center. No one yet knows why either piece of art was stolen. It does confirm the popularity of the public art. Those types of incidents are rare, but when they do, uh, it's great to see that so many more members of the public actually value that piece and want to see it return. Just days ago, a replacement Pikes Peak was installed. The artist, who lives in another city but grew up in Colorado Springs, cast a second sculpture and offered to install it while home for the holiday. So he did that out of his own pocket. There were no donations this time. I'm told the crime and the notoriety from the outcry creates an element of future crime prevention. More people now want to check out this and other art. The more people gathering around public art to enjoy it, the more it creates a deterrent for vandals and thieves. Rob? Makes sense.